manure, yeah. that means it's too high in fiber. When it's this high in fiber, the dung beetle won't do it. And we There's want the dung beetle to everywhere. explode. There are the dung beetles, but we need like thousands of them. So we won't have any horn fly. You saw, you saw you the horn fly? So you're going to introduce dung beetles? No. Just we just need to give them the proper food that right. is well digested manure, not okay. so high in fiber. But since this is the first time around it's all in, fiber. in years, it's very high in fiber. Yeah. But the cows, since they have the good genetics, they are doing well even with that. Yeah. And even without any shade. Now, do they, eat, do they need to eat more because of them? They got to eat more yeah. fiber to get what they need. Yeah, they have to, they have to overeat. So yeah. we give them the minerals in a free choice. Is that was in the blue? No. No, the, the blues were for a, a corn post, it's a, so they would digest better the fiber. You call it corn post? That's what they call it. But we stopped doing that yesterday because it rained enough, so we can give them enough of this, uh -huh. and in uh, maybe two weeks we'll be right where this good quality grass, the regrowth from, for, from where we started. So you're rotating all the time, where the animals are going? Twice a day. We wow. give them like uh, two to three acres in the morning, yeah, and three acres good. in the afternoon. Let's go. Let's walk down. I think I'm seeing ash or something here. No, is it the... That's the color of the sand. The sand is white. Wow. Yeah. The soil sample says it's a 2.5, so that's not too bad. For sand? That's great. I am a cow nutritionist too, so... Yeah. I, I, that's why I look at manure. Yeah. It's not, not. How long you been in all this stuff? 20, all my life. Watch really? out for the mama. Let's watch out for the yeah, mama. Yeah, she <laughs> come around behind us. Maybe. Give us a boot. There are 29 little ones. What's your herd size to get to? What do you want to uh, get? A thousand animals. Little and big. Because we plan to grow out and fatten the, our own grass fed, beyond organic, yeah. that Mashonas uh, yield great meat. Yeah. With, without any grain. They don't only have to be healthy, they have to be great. Yeah. Most people, they like the taste. Yeah. And when you don't feed any grain, the beef taste is stronger. Right. And yeah. take that, look at them, not too fat. So that's why we stopped feeding corn. See? Too she, fat. She is ready, but for flour. She's too fat. Mm. She's overeating to get that. Overeating. No, she the ate the corn pulls. Maybe this manure is from her because of the corn pulls, but not all of them. I, I know how to move them, how to approach them. Now we even pet them, but some of them. Yeah. And just before it gets dark, I come out and see them. Yeah. And then they are very gentle. They come. Yeah. Like here, they're all around me. So they have gained a lot of weight since we brought them here. They were out in the desert. When they are born, they are very small, so we don't have any calvin problem. But people around here will say, oh, oh they're too tiny, I don't want them. They want a big calf yeah. that they have to be out in the night taking care of. Yeah. They should finish calvin in two months. This is the tougher that you don't like right here? Yeah, Look, you can see it right here. That's right here. The, the thicker leaf is the hay, and right now there is some pangola growing here that is great. I would like to plant. It. What is it? Pangola. Pangola grass. Yeah. That's the best quality grass we can grow here. Well, that and crabgrass. In, in Texas, near Houston, Sabino Cortez made a, made a field day with a compost extract with fish soluble in glasses, and the sand that was white turn into a brown after four years. Yeah. And the dung beetles were all around flying. And the manure, once it hit the, the soil, next day you, you couldn't find it. So it was six acres, continuously grazed Bermuda, like, like that, with uh, 60 animals, cows and cows. Big animals, larger than this one. And, and, and wait, <laughs> wait. And they were overly fat. Yeah. And no chemicals. So, so I like that, but it took four years. No, no chemicals at all. You did four years of tease. To, to turn the, the the sand from white to brown. So you and loaded the sand with biology. 
And then the biology was such that you could break that down in a day? The dung beetle. The dung beetle. There were so many that they would bury that in one okay. day. Okay. There were red devons with long hair and no fly. Wow. So that's what I would like to do. Something like that. that the dung beetles are here, but the manure is too, too fiber. Too much, yeah. too high in fiber. That thing he did, that's a tried and proven recipe. For I mean, Bermuda, for it's hot, like here. That's uh, 10 animals per acre in the summer, in the wow. in the hot season. Wow. With irrigation, with irrigation. How many, acre, how many animals per acre here again? Huh? How many animals per acre are you going to do here? Here, here, uh, I want to go to two. It's like 500 acres, no? That we have for irrigation. Two? Two animals per acre. But uh, we may go higher with the biochar and the leucaena and the yeah. compost extract. And, but I want to. So you got his recipe for his? Yes. Yeah, that, I that bought the machine and I have it in Mexico working. Oh, the extractor. Yeah. That's why I made the compost. I made 100 tons. Here we're going to make 200 tons. You're, you're going to create mycorrhizal inoculant formula, tea, right? So you don't want it to get too bacterial because that'll that'll beat up your mycorrhizae numbers, and you want probably yeah. more extraction. So you're just you just use the lab to dial in your recipe, okay. and then you got your system based on. Well, that. you tell how. Well, yeah, I'll use the lab to, to develop it, and then we'll have our protocol, our standard recipe.